hey guys see watch here snowy day it's really beautiful uh dealerships closed uh, but it's one of those days that say that you needed to get out that you probably would remote start your car um obviously doing it in a toyota you can do it from your app if you if you uh, subscribe to the app or you can the three times lock lock and then hold the lock button um once you do that normally you're going to get that to start my point in telling you this is before you do this you should actually do some other things on the inside of your car all right so what are some of those things well first off i'm going to tell you never remote start your car inside your garage with garage door closed never do that so i want to put that out there first but um but the first thing that you should always make sure after you know that you haven't done that is that you should make sure that you set your temperature to what you want it to be when you get out of your car prior to you know the, the next day when you know it's going to be like this so set that temperature to what you know you want it to be that way you'll be sure that there's no issues right um, the other thing that you should always do is make sure that uh, you have a snow brush or stuff like that that's available to you um, I do want to mention that in the case where your doors might be frozen shut it might be good to have some of that spray or, or, or keep that snow brush actually inside your house. Could be just right. All right, so the other thing you'll notice is on my truck here, you can't really see the windshield wipers. So depending on what you're gonna get, you can see we've gotten a bunch of snow here. But, and, and I know I should be wearing gloves. My wife will you know, tell me about that. But make sure that you can get to your wipers. The more snow you have, snow is heavy. So the more snow that you have, um, obviously that's going to be a little bit more of an issue. Um, but, you know, and, and clear off your car before you start driving. That's a pet peeve of mine. Just make sure your car is all the way clear before you start driving. Um, but uh, you also want to make sure that you have your... Um, so before you start, you want to make sure that you have your heated seats turned on as well. So make sure that you turn your heated seats on. Make sure that you take your vents, all right? Make sure all your vents are open, right? So you might keep a vent closed because the kid doesn't like it uh, blowing on them or something like that. Make sure all your vents are open. It's going to help heat your car quicker. Um, but make sure all your vents are open. Make sure that they are faced towards your glass, all right? So, and, and when... I mean that so turn them so that, that it'll help clear your outside windows if you do that right so make sure that they are cleared towards your glass the other thing is, is make sure that you've set your mode to the right setting for whatever you're trying to do probably defrost and face or defrost and floor um, those are probably two of the things that uh, people tend to do but keep in mind even on defrost it's usually gonna blow out of the front windows or, or front uh, vents as well so that's something else to consider too so um, also remember, if you have a heated steering wheel, go ahead and turn on your heated steering wheel too. So any button that uh, makes something warm that sticks in, push it. <laughs> you probably could have Something else that could help you is to put your windshield wipers into windshield wiper maintenance mode. I've got a few videos that show you how to do that. Um, a lot of times just lifting the wipers. I know some people will put cardboard down. Um, depending on the snow, that could be a worse idea, but... I know some people will do something like that, but if you lift your wipers off the windshield or put them into maintenance mode and then possibly lift them back off the windshield as well, it could be something that you'd want to do as part of your remote start uh, preparation plan. One other thing you might try, turn on your rear defroster. That also will have your heated mirrors usually in it. Um, some vehicles have a separate button for the heated mirrors, but turn it on. Uh, a lot of vehicles, when you turn the vehicle back on via remote start, that won't be enabled, so it'll probably shut back off, but at least find out if yours will leave it on if you leave it on when you shut off the vehicle. Something else to remember, make sure that you have gas. Now, there's a couple of reasons for that. Obviously, driving in this weather, you never want to be on empty regardless. Um, but even if it's just cold, keep in mind that, that Toyotas, usually if you're below a quarter tank, the remote start, it's not going to let it start. Um, it doesn't want to run your gas out. So I'm sure other vehicles probably have a similar type thing to where if you're too low on fuel, it's not going to start. So make sure that you got gas if you plan on a remote start in your vehicle. Otherwise, all this other stuff doesn't matter. But a few things that you might want to remember before you remote start your car to make sure that it does what you want it to do and you're not just running it and have the air conditioner on. So Steve Welch here. You guys have a great day and enjoy the weather if uh, if you're looking at this and uh, if, if it's the middle of summer, you got time left, right? We'll talk to you soon. Bye.